Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 559. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 558 to 562. And this one, we got a wild one here. This trick actually comes from the, uh, the book, Excel Hacks. Uh, hack number 94. I'm actually going to use some of the tricks uh, from this page and some of the uh, tricks I have up my sleeve here. Our goal, we have some text and we want to be able to extract the first word, the last word, or any nth word like the second or third word. First we'll start with get the first word. That's easy. We're going to notice that there's spaces that separate the words and actually all these tricks assume that there are single spaces between all these words. So we just have to do take the text from the left, one, two, three, four characters, we'll be able to find that space five and subtract one equals left of this, comma, the number of characters you could use find, F-I-N, notice I have to type three letters before I can tab in 2007, that is case sensitive and it does not accept wild cards. If you type S, it's the first one on the top of the list. This is not case sensitive, it does accept wild cards. Um, and eventually later when we use this character to help us find the last and nth a character doesn't matter if it's case sensitive. So I like search. I also like search because boom, it's the first one I can just type S tab. Find text. I want to find a double quote space, double quote, that's for space within this. Close parentheses. Now that'll give us five, so we're going to subtract one. Half. So extract the first one. Now, um, that's easy, but the, the rest of this it gets pretty wild here. First, let's go ahead and just see what ha well, the substitute function. Uh, we have some spaces here, and we want to substitute in some character that would never exist in our text string. And really, these tricks are all for like a huge column of data. And actually, if I were doing this and I wanted the last word, I would use text to column, text to column, and just get the last word, right? Some people like to do it with a formula, so this one, uh, this this is a formula method. All right, but the key is we ha to find the last and the nth. We're going to use this uh, some character that's not in our text string. Let's just see what happens if we use substitute su tab. We want to substitute. Um, look here, comma. The old text we want to find is, um, double quote, space, double quote, the new text. And I'm going to put this here. And the reason why, in an assumption table, the character, because if I have a whole column of data and uh, I'm dumping data all the time into this little template, I could easily change the character. So if some text came in with this character, I could just change it to a, you know, a, a forward, a forward a question mark, or no, not a question mark, but a, a pound sign or an at sign or something like that. So I want to, that's the new text. We're going to come back to this instance right here. That's going to help us greatly just in, in a moment. But for now, let's just see what happens with this. Puts all those in, no problem. Let's see how to count spaces now. Because we need to uh, put a not a caret in all of the places, just the last one. But in order to do that, we somehow need to know how many spaces there are. Because look at this, boop, that last argument we didn't use, instance number, we really want what? There's three spaces, so we want the third instance of um, a space to be substituted with that. And that will be like our marker to get the last word. So how are we going to do that? Well, we need to count spaces, so we'll go um, equals SU tab, the text we're looking here is that, comma, the old text is a uh, space, the new text we're going to substitute in is blank, double quote, double quote, and what does that do? Well, that's not what we want, but notice it got rid of all the spaces. If we ask for the length, that means the number of characters of that, we get 16. Well, how's that going to help? Well, because we can take the LEN of this, which is 16, 17, 18, 19, and then subtract them. That gives us three. Now, we can use this mixed with our substitute as the last um, 
argument and boom it'll put one of these characters in the last space now we're gonna um, this form is gonna get much bigger so I'm gonna start copying this and I want to copy and load up my clipboard and then paste all the appropriate formula parts to uh, show your clipboard you know like that but please turn your options on if you like to do this trick for CC because control CC in earlier versions it works but not in 7 and 10 control CC it copies that and opens the clipboard I'm gonna click escape and then come here control C escape now I want to substitute last space with that so I'm gonna say equals and I'm going to use this. This is the uh, first thing we did. This put them all in, but I'm going to click in the third argument and then type a comma. Now instance number, I want the third, so now I'm going to click there and it pastes it. So now that's pretty cool. That pl uh, plops that no matter how many. If we come up here and type, and we'll test it later, if we type, you know, 20 words all separated by a single space, this formula will always insert that character as a marker for the right before the last word. Now find the position of this. We're going to have to copy this. Control C, escape. I'm going to use search again, equals search. Find what text? This character right there. Comma within what? Hey, this thing we just made up here. You know, trying to make all of these from scratch gets pretty complicated, but this kind of trick of loading the little pieces and building it one at a time certainly is helpful. All right, so that'll give me the position. Now we're going to need to use this. Um, what we're going to do, and this is where I'm going to diverge a little bit from the Excel hackbooks. I'm going to use replace. I'm going to say, hey, replace function, start at the first character and go all the way to the 14th character, and just replace all that with a blank, and that'll leave us only Excel. So we are going to need this copy. So now we got, okay, so this one is associated with that one. That's the, the um, where that character is. And that is the actual text, that one right there, that we're going to use. So now equals replace um, REP. And the old text is going to be this one right here, comma, the starting number is 1, comma, the number of characters is this big thing right here. So I'm going to click that right there. And now we need to um, put a comma in our our last little thing. is What's the new text? It's a double quote, double quote, blank, close parentheses, boom. So now we have Excel. Actually, um, on the answer sheet over here, you can see uh, the, the mid uh, formula that, that was used in Excel hacks. I like the replace here. Now let's just test this, right? Uh, have fun with Excel and Word. So Word is the, I mean, it automatically will adjust, right? I'm going to control Z and just leave it uh, have fun with Excel. Uh, now, what about the nth? the nth position. Well, we're going to use that same substitute and a certain instance, but first, here's the character. If that's the third word we want to find, one, two, three, we need to somehow identify the space right before the word. Well, that's one, two. So uh, simply take whatever the word to find is and subtract one. And then we use our substitute. I'm going to use this very first piece here. Oh, with an equal sign, right? Now I'm going to type the instance number and click on that cell. Ah, look at that. So if we're looking for uh, a specific instance, we just type that, whatever it is, minus 1. Now we're going to have to find the position of that right there. I'm going to clear all and start using, because uh, we're going to do the same little trick here. We have to find the position of that. Let's copy that, because that's going to be the text. So I'm going to say, if, what position is that caret? Equals S tab. Find what text? Actually, before we do this, why don't I um, hide? Right click hide. Right click hide. 
equals s tab. The text to find is that comma and within what text? Boom, that one right there. So it's the ninth one. Now we're going to need that one. Okay, so we've copied these two. That'll be the text, and that'll be position. Hey, I'm going to use the same trick right here. Replace from number one all the way to nine with a blank, and that'll leave us with with uh, this. And then we'll do we'll use that space there uh, to to extract that width right there. You ready? Replace equals replace. REP tab. The old text is going to be this one. That's associated with that right there. Comma, the start number is one, comma, the number of characters. That one right there, which is boop, that one. And then the new text, comma, double quote, close parentheses. So that leaves us with Excel. Now, what position is the first space? Well, we're going to have to copy this one. equals s tab find what text double quote space double quote and within what text boom it'll just find the first one not because we didn't put start or start number in right and so now it says oh it's the fifth one now we have our text which is this one right here and now what position is the fifth we're going to have to use this so copy and the nth word, we could say, uh, how about from the left? Go from the left, th this text right here, five characters, that, uh, I'm sorry, that, that formula right there, minus one. So equals left. The text is going to be that one. It's helpful to, you know, line them up and remember boom, boom, and then this five, boom, boom, because you can't, I can't really see them how big, you know, or even they get so big you don't know quite what they mean. Right, so that's the text, comma, number of characters, boom, five, right? But this five is one too many. It would extract W-I-T-H and the space, which can get you into trouble sometimes, so I'm going to subtract one, minus one, and then finally close parentheses. And so there's the width, and we can test this. We could say fi uh, find the two the second word, and it finds fun. Now, you don't want to try and find the first one with this because then this becomes zero and substitute just says, oh, um, I can't find the zeroth occurrence of a space, so control Z. And if you knew exactly what number the, the last one was, um, then you could use this for the last, but if it, if they're variable lengths, then the formula we did before uh, for last one will find them. This this one, get the nth, is only when you know exactly what word you want. All right, so that's a lot of wild stuff. Uh, formula fun uh, where maybe text to column in most circumstances might work, but sometimes if you need a formula, there you go. All right, we'll see you next trick.